Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. Today we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about how to find the factors of a number. And previous to now we've learned about fractions, we've, we've introduced the concept of what a fraction is and we've done some practice with it. Now we're going to talk about these things called factors. The reason we're doing it now is because factoring numbers, finding factors of numbers, is actually something that we, we use quite a bit when we add fractions together and when we subtract them, when we multiply them. We'll constantly be uh, uh, meddling with these fractions and trying to use these factors to make them simpler or change them. And so it's very important to know how to do this so that we can move on and do the next step. So when you talk about the factors of a number, what it basically means, and I'll just write a quick definition up here and then we will go on to it. When you have a factor of a number, that's what we talk about. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number. So literally, it's a, it's a number that divides evenly into another number. And I realize this can be a little confusing, so let me give you a quick example, and then we will understand exactly what these words mean. So if I want to find the factor, so find the factors of the following things, this is how we would do it. Find the factors of, let me switch colors a little bit here, let's say the number 10. So what I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to find the factors of the number 10, is I'm literally trying to write down a list of every number I can think of that will divide evenly into 10 um, you know, without any, any remainder or any leftover. So it has to divide evenly. And if a number can divide evenly into the number 10, then we say it's a factor of the number 10. So let's go uh, start with the number 1 and see how far we can go. So is the number 1 a factor of 10? Yes, the answer is 1 is a factor of 10 because 1 can be divided into 10 uh, evenly. In fact, 10 divided by 1 is 10, so it can be divided in there. Now let's ask yourself the question, is 2 a factor of 10? Can it be divided into 10? Yes, it can because 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that can be divided evenly. Is 3 a factor of 10? Well, here we hit a roadblock because 3 cannot be divided into 10 evenly because 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 times 4 is 12. So we don't have any way that the number 3 can be divided in there an even number of times without anything left over. So 3 is not a factor of 10. So then we go to the number 4. Is 4 a factor of 10? And 4 is not a factor of 10 either because 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 3 is 12. There's no way that I can divide 4 into 10 an even number of times with nothing left over. So the number 4 is not a factor. But the number 5 is a factor of 10 because 5 can be divided into 10 an even number of times. In fact, 10 divided by 5 gives you 2, so that's an, a nice number. Now we can just keep going on. Can 6 be divided into 10? No. Can 7 be divided into 10? No. Can 8 be divided into 10? No. Can 9 be divided into 10? No. Can 10 be divided into 10? Actually, 10 can be divided into 10 uh, because 10 divided by 10 is just one. So what we have here is a list of what we call factors. In this case, the factors of the number 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. These are all numbers that can be divided in even 